Hi, my name is Chris Thomas. First off, I'd like to say thank you to N City Magazine for allowing me this opportunity to speak to you in regards to uh, some marketing tips. Uh, some example that we have seen that went viral, uh, that was televised and the whole world was uh, saw, saw the picture. Um, first, and in addition to that, we'd like to say congratulations to uh, Naomi Osaka. Naomi Osaka, who won the US Open. Um, sweetheart, you did a wonderful job. Keep up the great work. And you gave it all you got. You gave it all that you had and you came out on top. Congratulations again. Naomi Osaka actually has a lot to do with the marketing tip and things we have to keep in mind in regards from marketing and branding. Um, the US Open, Nike, Serena, Colin Kaepernick, the NFL, along with, by default, Adidas. Now, to give you a little bit of history without getting into the whole political part of it, um, many of you, if you're watching this, you're in tune to the internet, and I know that you've either seen on the internet or through some news media outlet um, about uh, Colin Kaepernick being banned from the NFL by taking a knee during the uh, ceremony of the flag. Now, moving forward, all of that caused a big uproar uh, amongst uh, individuals who were pro the reason why that happened and those uh, who are against uh, that happening as far as the NFL banning Colin Kaepernick for that particular reason. In addition to that, uh, not only was he banned from the NFL, uh, there are many sponsors uh, who also in endorsement deals that he lost as a result of that as well. Nike, who decided to, instead of pulling the endorsement away from Mr. Kaepernick, decided to put it on the shelf for a moment. Moving forward, Nike introduced a campaign with Serena. And it was, I can't remember the whole entire campaign, but it was a Just Do It campaign. And in essence, it had to do with, you may be able to strip the Superwoman or Wonder Woman out of her outfit, but underneath, she's still the Superwoman. Uh, can't remember word for word, but it had something to do in regards to her attire. When Nike posted that particular campaign, the internet went crazy. Things went viral. There were sharing, there were comments, there were this and that in the world. Great move, PR move on, on Nike in regards to, from a brand standpoint, just doing it. Uh, working hard, and and it went viral. Moving forward, a few days later, Nike decides to introduce or to release their campaign with uh, Colin Kaepernick. So they had put Colin on on the sh on the shelf, but decided, hey, this is going to be a great time to bring it back out. So what they decided to do is to make Colin Kaepernick the face of their Just Do It campaign. And when they introduced that, social media, uh, people who were pro, uh, pro Colin Kaepernick, people who were not, who were against Colin Kaepernick, um, everyone had an opinion uh, when Nike released that. Uh, stock went down by a small point or two and it went back up. Um, people were buying Nike that hadn't bought Nike before. People were bringing out Nike. They were Instagramming their Nike. They were doing videos about their Nike. People have been uh, doing videos about buying Nikes for people who were homeless um, as well, using it as an initiative uh, to support Nike. So 
it was a massive campaign regarding Nike that entire week. All of this happening just a day or two before the open of the first official game for the NFL season, which was between the Atlanta Falcons and the Philly Eagles. Uh, shout out to my Falcons. You know, even though we didn't pull that off, we, you know, hey, we still did a very great job. Um, that all of that happened in the midst of that, and then the NFL, dis, uh, Nike, decides to do a major uh, television commercial uh, right there during the watch of that first game. Now, even though this campaign, I'm not sure how much money it cost Nike to be able to produce and to put together, um, they, you know, the payoff was massive. The payoff was massive. So. Uh, people were talking about it, they were sharing it. They even made uh, memes in regards to other people who were doing certain things or have done certain things and either putting, you know, the just do it on there, people putting their own faces on the just do it. So people were thinking about the Nike brand. That's what, that's what was on the minds of many people across the internet. And if it wasn't on your mind, you had no other choice but to see it because it was right there in your face everywhere you turn on social media, something was about Nike. Moving forward was another big week because uh, the US Open, Serena happened to be in the US Open as well, and she's being endorsed by, by Nike. And this is a big week for the US Open because um, Serena was accused of getting sideline coaching or quote unquote uh, possibly even cheating. She was accused of that. Um, it went viral with her conversation about to the referee defending herself, defending her character about cheating. And uh, that video went viral. So again, some of the things that were coming up into people's minds were Nike and their brand because they helps, they support or endorsed Serena. So the whole Nike thing has come back to the forefront again. And their Just Do It campaign. Naomi Osaka, who was competing for in the US Open against Serena, who is endorsed or sponsored by Adidas. Who wins the US Open? Adidas, I mean, uh, uh, Naomi Osaka, and she's been endorsed by Adidas. If you look back at all the pictures you have, she's wearing Adidas cap, she's wearing Adidas top, she's wearing Adidas shoes. So Adidas, because of being in the world of sports and fashion, Adidas, is a winner as well by default. Why? Because it was it was uh, in the arena of sports, which the whole week people were talking about sports, sports fashion, and Nike and Adidas are competitors, you know, against one, uh, uh, competitors uh, with one another. And by being in the right place at the right time, you know, basically, um, Adidas chose or selected um, Naomi Osaka because she gave, she's an individual who's going to give it all she had to be a winner. And the payoff was, was, with, was with Adidas. Uh, didn't pay as nearly as much money. Um, didn't quite get as much um, viral along with time in the media as Nike did. But because of Adidas uh, foresight, along with selecting the right individual to partner with and to sponsor or to endorse, uh, they actually ended up a winner as well. So there are a few things as business owners, as businesses uh, who are uh, you know, putting together marketing campaigns, a few things we could get you know, out of this, uh, from this entire scenario with, uh, the athletes along with 
the brands of Nike and Adidas. Timing is very important. Strategy is another important uh, thing to keep in mind in regards to marketing and branding. Um, along with uh, mention timing, strategy, your message. Your message is very important as well because it can go a very long way in regards to your message, you know, as well. So, and there are tons of other things you can get, you know, out of this. But those are some of the things that I saw that I wanted to share, you know, to people. And uh, if you have some other ideas or some other things that you were able to get, you know, chime in, message below, whether you see this on uh, YouTube or Facebook or wherever you see it. Chime in and, and leave your messages about some of the things that you were able to get as a result from the whole branding and marketing of, uh, of Nike and by default Adidas. So thank you again for NC Magazine for allowing me this platform to be able to speak to you and to allow uh, my marketing tips. And if you'd like to contact me directly, you can either on Twitter or Instagram at It's C. Thomas. And it's listed right here. I-T-S C. Thomas. Thank you very well. I hope you have a very fantastic day. And your day and week is better than you want or need it to be. Talk to you soon.